We know of the experience of Naaman, who was struck with leprosy and who eventually contacted the prophet Elisha and was instructed to go and wash in the Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. At first, Naaman was unwilling to follow Elisha's counsel. He couldn't understand the thing he had been asked to do, to wash seven times in the Jordan River. In other words, his pride and stubbornness were keeping him from receiving the Lord's blessing through his prophet. Thankfully, he finally went down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. What a humbling thing it must have been for Naaman to realize how close he came to allowing his own pride and his unwillingness to listen to the counsel of the prophet to prevent him from receiving such a great cleansing blessing. And what a humbling thing it is to contemplate how many of us might miss out on the great and promised blessings because we do not listen and then do the relatively simple things our prophet is telling us